just one minute, so let's see if uh, the rest are going to be here. Okay, I'm going to share my screen so that you can see it. Uh, 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 well, I don't know. Uh, Jose, I'm going to pass what we are going to do today, okay? Um, this is what we are going to do in today's class, and this is use of English. This is multiple choice, um, close text, and then word formation, okay? So you can download it in here so that you can see it better. Okay. And now we see if they come or not. Hello. Hello. Okay, guys, I have passed what we are going to do today, okay? Okay. In the, in the group. So, how are you guys? I'm fine. Fine. We're fine. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. So, guys, today we are going to do use of English. Today you are going to learn a lot of vocabulary from, uh, from this. Okay, so we are going to extract vocabulary from this part of use of English. And the following day, maybe we will do a reading, but I will help you with vocabulary. So, uh, are you able to see? We are in a ceramics uh, fair. Fair, I'm here in the. I'm going to put the headphones. Well, uh, let's see what we do. And if we have a uh, time left, we will do some speaking, but at the at the very end of the class. So we are we have three pages, only three exercises. You know that the first is multiple choice. Let me see. Uh, yes. Uh, we have multiple choice. Then we have a close text in which you have to write a verb, adverb, whatever it fits there. And the last one is word building. So, uh, well, this this is a. Uh, some of them are more difficult, but in any way, I will give you uh, some vocabulary. So let's go to exercise one, which is part one, ceramics fair. Fair is an adjective meaning justo, okay? But in this case, fair means feria, okay? So uh, we are mm, going to be told about something about ceramics and all these things. Cuando tenemos un texto, el título nos puede decir algo. Si es feria de cerámica, pues nos van a hablar a lo mejor eh, cosas relacionadas con la cerámica. Tengo que saber vocabulario relacionado a eso. ¿Vale? Eh, estas cosas que tenéis que elegir suelen ser siempre de gramática, de collocations. Eh, no me interesa que eh, en vez de Marvel digáis améis. Sí, a lo, mejor también, a lo mejor también valdría. Son collocations. Lo que me interesa es que vayamos sacando vocabulary. So, um, ok, I'm going to write some vocabulary that you are going to find in the text so that you can know. I'm going to make it bigger. Ok. Okay, the first word uh, that more or less you are going to encounter is the adverb hardly, which means apenas, difícilmente. Apenas. Okay, so it says the sleepy village of a. Uh, well, I'm inventing the pronunciation. Boussier Badil, we don't know this because it's, it seems to be French, or I don't know, is hardly the place, okay? So, difícilmente el lugar, okay? Hardly. Then, oh my God. 
Uh, then you have the word pottery. Pottery is a ceramica, alfareria, okay? Um, Potter, Harry Potter, you remember the, the character. So Potter means alfarero, okay? Uh, or a person working with this type. So uh, we have pottery, ceramica, alfareria, and potter is the person making these, um, these things. Okay, this is what color you're going to encounter in this text. Then you have sim. Sim means a uh, costura, okay? Sim tres, for example, sim tres es costurera, ¿vale? To sew, coser. Esto no lo vais, eh, vais, vais a encontrar solo esta palabra, ¿vale? Pero yo relaciono ya esta palabra que es costura, con simtress, costurera, y sew, o su, que es coser. Ok, uh, for example, in this case, you know that English is a language, and languages have irregularities, and in here, sim is a polysemous word. This means that in the text is not costu costura, is beta. And beta, so it can be costura, depending on the context, okay? And beta, beta is uh, a part of a material, okay? I don't know, I don't know uh, how to explain to you because probably you don't know the word in Spanish, but it doesn't matter. Sim, costura, normalmente en el texto significa beta. Uh, you don't have to learn this, but you should know the other meaning. You are going to encounter the word also clay clay means uh it's like mag barro okay it says there is a seam of clay hay una beta de barro well we will translate later uh, to make tile tile means a eh, azulejo Tile means azulejo. To make tiles and bricks. Brick is ladrillo. Tile, azulejo. Brick, ladrillo. Then it says blah, 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 by the name tile maker. Wears. Then you have the word wears, and wears means goods. Goods, when plural, you know that adjectives cannot be plural because they are adjectives in English are not plural or they do not have a gender. So goods means eh, bienes, okay? Bienes en el sentido de mercancías, recursos. ¿Y por qué pone godos? No. Corrector. Be careful with this. Eh, goods son bienes y es lo mismo que wares, ¿vale? Mercancía, si le quito la S y si le pongo la S de mercancías. You will see that in the text. Eh, another, another word is shed. Shed means eh, cobertizo, caseta. It says there were in a huge purpose built shed. Mm -mm -mm -mm. How can I bloquear? Um, and then you have nuance, okay? Nuance means matiz, tonalidad, okay? For example, what nuance of blue do you like? Oh, I like light blue or green blue. Something like that, okay? So this is the vocabulary you may not know from the text, but now you are supposed to. Uh, um, and that's it, okay? I think you will understand the rest. For example, there is a part in a text, in the text where it says tile maker. Tile maker means the person making tiles. Tile maker 
el que, la persona que hace azulejos. Ok, so, uh, guys, do this. I'm going to give you some minutes to, uh, to choose from A to D and we will see. Ok.
guys when you have finished let me know uh writing it in the in the um, in the skype in the in number in uh, 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 jose in fact in fact it is converged in number six okay we will see why we will see it when you have finished all of them uh, you you let me know Yes, only exercise one. Now I will tell you why, the reason why of every option. Okay, let's see. Well, you can see this in your in your laptop. Okay, a ceramics fair, the sleepy village of blah blah, is hardly the place where you'd expect to find an internationally famous ceramics exhibition attracting fifteen thousand visitors each year. Yet, este yet es sin embargo. Os dije un día yet, se pone siempre al final, eh, es un adverbio que utilizamos siempre con el present perfect, pero también puede ser sin embargo, cuando aparece al principio. Sin embargo, tal, tal, tal. Yet, when a pottery fair, what is pottery fair? Una feria de um, cerámica. Okay? Was first held there over 30 years ago it was the only one in all of france and it is a still one of the most important so uh, france so this is in french uh, well i'm not going to pronounce french in here um but why here there is a theme of clay hay una beta de barro esto es como mm, beta de barro el lugar donde se saca el barro como si dijeran una mina vale which runs through the area, but it is red clay, es un barro rojo, ok? Of the type used to make tiles and bricks, con el que se hacen azulejos y ladrillos. As, and now you tell me A, B, C or D. Exactly, as opposed to, very good, as opposed to pots, so there is no... This is a collocation. Very good. There is no particular tradition. ¿Por qué es particular eh, tradition y no exact tradition? Porque con tradition, normalmente, si vemos un corpus de la lengua, se dice más particular tradition que exact tradition. Tradition, entonces ya eso lo convierte en collocation, ¿vale? Pero como os digo, no me interesa que veáis, que sepáis eso, me interesa que os quedéis después de esta clase con que brick es ladrillo, clay es barro, esas cosas. Ok, um, there is no particular tradition of art pottery. The idea of the first started when a Portuguese potter by the name of Miguel Calado, number three. Very good. Set up, establecer, ok. Eh, set, set, set. Lo vimos el otro día. Uh, set up a studio in the village at the...
a the instigation is a it is not persuasion the collocation is instigation means it incitación okay instigation at the instigation let me see a studio at the instigation of because this is a collocation. Uh, let me keep reading. Of the major, major is alcalde and majoress alcaldesa himself. Of the major himself. ¿Qué significa ahí el himself? Por el propio alcalde. Vale. A local tile maker who was number five. A committed to, well, it could be committed, but it is not. It is be determined to. Estaba, eh, estaba convencido de committed, sería comprometido que estaría bien igual, pero la colocation es determined to. To put the region on the map. And he has oh, certainly succeeded every year up to 40 potters from all over France and beyond. Number six. We said it. It is C, converge. And why? Because it is followed by the preposition on. Converge on the village to display. Display means uh, exhibit, okay? There was sus eh, mercancías in a huge en un enorme purpose built eh, shed en un enorme cobertizo hecho construido con ese propósito ok in a huge purpose built shed number seven a b c or d Be very good. Items on show. On show means los, los elementos que estaban de muestra. Se supone que son pues, cosas de cerámica. From the range. Range es oscilar. Okay? Range from the utilitarian to the decorative with every nuance in between. Aquí es una tonalidad eh, matiz también. And the crowds come to look to mm, at the potter's art and to buy. It is D, very good. Marble at. Marble means admire. Why? Because of at. Okay. Okay, I think it, it was pretty good. So you have many words uh, to, to learn from this. Okay, bricks, tiles, clay, uh, range, oscilar, uh, potter, which means uh, pot, uh, pottery, alfarería, uh, what else? Succeed, lo vimos el otro día, uh, succeed, tener éxito. Eh, sleepy, adormecido, hardly, que era nuestro ejemplo, hardly era eh, difícilmente, ok, so, fair, que aparte de, eh, de justo, puede ser una feria, ok, so, I want you to remember this, ok, let's see this, this is cheating at computer games, haciendo trampa, trampas, en los juegos de, de ordenador. Ok, so, very interesting topics, as always. It's a joke. Eh, gonna make it bigger, although you have it already. Ok, so, now, eh, you have to complete this with every word, guys. Maybe it's a verb, maybe it's a linker, maybe it's a relative, a preposition, eh, whatever whatever it fits. So I'm going to give you some minutes and then we will give, uh, I will give you some, some of the meanings of the vocabulary. But I, I need to know if you are able to, to do it on your own.
Okay, guys, I suppose you are ready to correct. Let's see what you have. Um, you, you can write it in the chat. Okay, computer games try to strike a balance. This is an expression to strike a balance, meaning eh, lograr un equilibrio. Okay, a strike a balance in the first line. Between providing, provide is to give, okay, to supply with. A challenge on the one hand, oh no, publicity. I'm going to try to block. Uh, okay, sorry. So on the one hand, a challenge. On the one hand, challenge is reto, okay? And allowing you to win on the other, okay? On the other hand, se supone, okay? Inevitably, however, you get stuck sometimes. Stuck, te quedas eh, atascado a veces. Eh, Viene del ver, es un participio eh, hecho adjetivo y viene de stick con i, ¿vale? Stick es stick, stuck, stuck, como lo veis escrito con u ambas, stick con i, stuck como está escrito y stuck como está escrito y significa pegar, ¿vale? También atascar en este caso, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, sticker. Es una pegatina porque se pega, ¿no? Pues acordaos de stick, es pegar. I'm gonna block this. Um, ok. But all is not lost. Many other game, gamers have figured... Ok, now I need a preposition because this is a phrasal verb, guys. So give me a preposition. No, not in, but a good try. Out, very good. Figure out, okay, as it sounds, figure out is understand, entender, okay? Figure out. What to do and post it, to post is uh, publicar, okay? To post. Let's publicar. The solution online. The answer is just uh, mm, clicks away. It means that it means pocos. Few, very good. The answer is just a few clicks away. Very, very good. Purists say that this is cheating. They argue that solving a puzzle, puzzle no es un, un puzzle, ¿vale? Puzzle es jigsaw. Eh, puzzle es enigma, ¿ok? Something like that, enigma. Yes, no puzzle, ¿vale? Puzzle jigsaw. ¿Habéis visto las películas? Bueno, si no las habéis visto, las de Saw, que decimos aquí en español Saw, pues lo llaman puzzle en español, pues eh, se llama jigsaw, no puzzle, ¿vale? Jigsaw. Eh, puzzle yourself. And now it is going to be giving an example to you. Mm, gamers had to do in the old, eh, very good, as or like, ¿ok? Like gamers had to do in the old days or as gamers had to do in the old days might have. And now be careful because we need uh, an expression. Que significa tomar mucho tiempo. Eh, no, 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 Jose. No longer existe. No longer es que ya no hay tiempo. We are going to discuss this no longer. No vamos a hablar de esto más. Si sí existe no longer, pero es un verbo en, en participio. Might have been longer. No, casi. 
almost nearly there you have it might have taken longer why taken podría ser been pero quieren que pongáis la expresión de, tem de tiempo siempre es con take como take time tomar tiempo llevar tiempo ok so might have taken longer but it was more satisfying um, This is a little bit difficult. This is an expression of time 13. Mm -mm. You know that detailed walkthroughs are available online free of charge for almost any game. The temptation is to ask for virtual help at the first sign of trouble unless no. This is the mo I think this is the most difficult. It is once ¿Ok? Or whenever. Once you know, una vez que ya sabes, o cuando, incluso when, o whenever. ¿Ok? That detailed walkthrough, walkthrough uh, means guía. Guía en el sentido no de turista, ¿eh? En el sentido de práctica. ¿Vale? Una guía, pues, yo qué sé, en un juego, pues, la guía de un juego o la guía de algo, ok, that, that is a walkthrough, are available, available means disponible, free of charge, uh, this means that it's totally free for almost any game, any in this case, as it is used in a positive sentence, means cualquier, para casi cualquier juego, ok. The temptation is to ask for virtual help at first sign of trouble, Mm, robs players of a true sense of achievement. And, and now I need a relative. Like robs. No, because rob is a verb. So you cannot say like. You need a relative, guys. Which, very good, because all the sentence is the antecedent of the relative that comes after. So, once you know, cuando sabes, bla, 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 lo que, tal. Eso es el lo que, ese es el which. Which robs players of a true sense of achievement. De un sentido de, del éxito, ¿vale? Hacer como trampas. I say this is rubbish. Doing a search and downloading. Now we know what download means. Download, descargar. Okay, and downloading a solution. Mm, I need a verb. Me more likely to finish games. So I get better value for money. I need a verb. A verb in third person. Because all of these, from doing to solution, is the subject of the sentence. So it is third person. Very good. Makes. Makes. Very good. So, uh, a solution makes, okay? Doing a search and downloading a solution makes me more likely to finish games so I get better value for money. El doing a search and downloading a solution se puede eh, sustituir por it, ¿vale? Por eso es it makes me. O sea, todo eso es lo que me hace a mí eh, que yo cierre el juego antes, ¿ok? But it is also a reminder. What is reminder? Reminder means recordatorio. It is also a reminder that I'm a member of a broader community. Que soy un miembro de una comunidad más grande. Broad es amplio o de una comunidad más amplia y el broader, this is the comparative. Ok, broad, amplio. Many of, I need another relative, have been this way before. Eh, no, José, relative. Relative es lo de which, who, whom, where, when, whose... Muchos de ellos, claro, está bien, many of them 
have been this way before. Pero no, no puedes decir them, tienes que decir un relativo. Them es que se refiere a personas. Vale, pues ahora decir el relativo. Eh, vale, el relativo que eh, se refiere a personas es who, very good. Pero como va detrás de una, de una preposición, le añadimos una, N, una M. Porque es un antiguo caso acusativo, ¿vale? Es como en español, yo me mi conmigo. ¿Veis? Son diferentes. Pues eh, detrás de of, tengo que poner whom. So, if I have who eh, in a sentence after of or any other preposition, I have to put whom. Many of whom have been this way before. ¿Vale? Siempre detrás de una preposición. Si tengo que poner who, pues pongo whom. Very good. Now let's see the, um, the last one, which is trolley bags. Trolley bag, uh, trolley is uh, una maleta pequeña con ruedas. Nos va a hablar en este texto de, de estas maletas en el, en el aeropuerto, ¿ok? And we will see, try to, to do it. You know that in this exercise you have to change the grammatical category. And I will give you the vocabulary later, ¿ok?
Okay, guys, so let's going to correct it. Even though you haven't finished, I, I'm not interested in that. You know that we're we want vocabulary. Um, I'm going to give you the, the vocabulary of the B2. Let me let me find it in my in my things. Um, uh, this is B2. Uh, uh, um. Let me see, because I'm going to I'm going to pass to you this list of vocabulary that uh, you should have. Okay, uh, this is the list of vocabulary of the first B two. This is what you are doing. I'm going to pass it to you now. So. It is the complete first word list. You know that well. I don't like to. I don't like you to learn vocabulary out of context. But this is the only way sometimes to learn vocabulary. A lot of vocabulary. Mm, es mejor sacar de los textos vocabulario y todo eso. Pero bueno, aquí tenéis. Os voy a pasar 15 pages eh, containing words that you may or may not know. I don't know. So, for example, you you have aggressive. Esto son un montón de palabras. Que quiero que lo tengáis ya de cara. A... A, para, bueno, para siempre, ¿ok? Eh, ¿Qué haría yo? Mirarme por ejemplo, una unidad cada, yo qué sé, cada fin de o something like that, ¿ok? And uh, to be looking for the meaning of the words in word reference, ¿ok? So, for example, you know, aggressive, pues yo pasaría de estas palabras, aggressive, me apuntaría a las que no sé. Ah, bring up es criar, por ejemplo, ¿no? So, I would, I would say bring up. And put criar, okay? Oh, concerned, a compromise, compromiso. So you know this, but maybe concerned, which is preocupado. This is worried. I'm a bit concerned about uh, her health. Well, this is good for responsibility, respect. Tenéis palabras que son súper fáciles, pero luego entre estas podéis tener unreliable, o que es arch, que es un verbo. Es incitar, okay, these things. So I'm going to pass to you this, okay, you have unit uh, two, al alleyway. Alleyway means callejón, okay. You have here uh, the description, a narrow road or path between buildings and an example, okay. But if you don't want to read all of this, I would say alleyway. I know the word, no, I'm going to find it in word reference or a swap. ¿Veis? Tenéis ir irrelevant, ¿vale? Sabéis que es irrelevante porque es igual que en español. Eh, competitive. Pero a lo mejor no sabéis que es astonishing o swap o, eh, I don't know, dreadful. dreadful. Dreadful is very bad. Ok, terrible. So I'm going to ask you this list right now and eh, for you to have it because you have a lot of vocabulary here. Okay, so let me see. I'm opening the chat. Ah, it's already opened. Okay, I'm going to give you this. Okay, so that's there. You can download it and you can put it away. Put away means guardar. Eh? Uh, you can put it away in your computer, whatever, because this is very useful. Ya os digo, yo lo que haría sería no ir palabra por palabra, mirar la que no sé y buscarla. ¿Ok? Y tenéis el ejemplo por si acaso y la descripción en inglés. This is very, very useful in order to do this. ¿Ok? Okay, so uh, let's finish with uh, trolley bags. Okay, trolley is una maleta con una pequeña. Okay, so wheeled trolley bags. Wheeled es con ruedas, vale. Eh, wheel es un volante, es una rueda. Is the adjective so con ruedas. Wheeled trolley bags have become an essential item of luggage. Luggage means equipaje, okay? Amongst means the same as among. Esto. 
and this amongst is the same. This sounds more formal, okay? Among is entre. Entre dos cosas, between, entre muchas cosas, among o amongst. Siempre cuando utilizamos between, it is between two people or between two things, but among is entre más de dos cosas. Okay, amongst frequent travelers. Okay. The compact version particularly What do you have? Uses no. You have useful. It is useful. Why? Because you have an adverb. So whenever you have an adverb here, you will have an adjective. Okay. So it is particularly useful. Es particularmente útil. Useful, útil. As a piece of hand luggage. Hand luggage means equipaje de mano. Okay. Luggage, equipaje. No puedo decir luggages. Es una palabra incontable. Carried on board airplanes. On board means eh, a bordo. Okay. On board. También es embarcar como verbo, pero aquí es a bordo. It allows you to avoid the cues. Allow, permitir. You, te permite. Avoid, avoid es evitar, cue colas, te permite evitar las colas at the baggage checking counters. Eh, baggage is the same as luggage, is totally the same, baggage or luggage, ok? Checking counter, counter means eh, mostrador, ventanilla, ok? Y checking ya lo sabéis, ok? Está hablando de, de qué habla el texto, de, de cómo de las ventajas de la maleta con ruedas, que ya no tienes que esperar en la, en la cola del check-in. Ok, very interesting text, as you know. Eh, as a piece of canon, certain carried on board airplanes, it allows you to avoid the queues at the baggage check-in counters on your... I'm going to tell you this because this is the most difficult because you shouldn't know this. You have a journey, which is a noun. You should know that here is an adjective, but you may not know the adjective, ¿ok? Tenéis que saber que es un adjetivo aunque no sepáis formarlo, ¿vale? Como tenemos un nombre antes, pues iría un eh, adjetivo. Y es outward, ¿ok? Esto no... no... No lo tenéis que saber, ¿vale? Outward journey. Outward means eh, saliente. En el sentido de departing. Departing eh, flight, for example. ¿Vale? Que sale. Un viaje que sale. Un vuelo. Ok. So, it means saliente en el sentido de departing flight or departing journey. And waiting... At the baggage carousel. The baggage carousel. Eh, carousel means uh, la cinta transportadora. Carousel. A ver, voy a ir más despacio que voy rápido. I'm going to be repeating. Wheeled con ruedas. Um, trolley. Ya sabemos que es una maletita con ruedas pequeña. Eh, amongst, hemos dicho que es lo mismo que among eh, hand luggage is the luggage you can, you can carry with your hand on board is when you are already in the airplane in the, yeah, in the airplane allow you to avoid the queue, queue, you know cola at the baggage, baggage is the same as luggage. So at the baggage checking counters means en las ventanillas de che eh, I don't know how to say in Spanish. En las ventanillas donde hacéis el check-in eh, del equipaje. On your outward journey, okay, and waiting at the baggage carousel. Baggage carousel means eh, la cinta transportadora, pues de equipaje, okay. I wouldn't say the equipaje otra vez. On your way home, okay? These days, there are... 
Mm -mm, guidelines. Guidelines is a noun, so I need the adjective or of office. Official, very good. There are official guidelines regarding, regarding means en lo que se refiere a. Regarding um, the maximum size, size means tamaño, okay? For hand luggage on flights, flights es un vuelo, okay? And these stipulated mm, are, so I need, stipulated is uh, an adjective, I need a noun, guys, a noun in the plural because then we have R. So give me the noun. Measurements, exactly, very good. Measurements, medidas. And these stipulated measurements are continuously subject to change. Subject to change means eh, estas medidas están continuamente eh, sujetas al cambio. O a cambiarse, or something like that, okay? Policies also vary. Policy es la policía, ¿verdad? No, policy es la política en plan, en el sentido de eh, política de, de empresa, ¿no? El reglamento. So, policies also vary, vary, variar, between airlines and airports, as well as being influenced by your mm, destination. I need the adjective. Eventual, very good. ¿Y qué es e eventual? Es eventual, como en español no. Es final, ¿vale? Eventually, eventually, it's the same as finally. Esto viene muy bien para un writing, ¿vale? En vez de poner finally, bla, 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 pones eventually, bla, bla, bla. Eventually is the same as finally. So, eventual is final. No es eventual. Ah, eh, ¿Cuántas veces vas al gimna gimnasio? Bueno, ahora, ahora no podemos decir eso. Eh, eventualmente, de vez en cuando. No. Eventually means finally. Finalmente. So, this is a false friend. Destination. The outcome. The outcome. Here. Outcome es el resultado. ¿Vale? The outcome of all... This is that travelers are recommended to, ch to check out the latest luggage. Uh, I need a noun before setting out for the airport. I need the noun in plural. Restrictions. Very, very good. Very good. So, the outcome of all this is that travelers, eh, chicos, travelers, there are some verbs in which you can find with one L or two. This is the case of this. Eh, travel, when you say traveling, depende de la variedad con la que estéis tratando, eh, ambas están bien, ¿vale? Esto puede pasar que a lo mejor decís, ay, pero esto era con dos L's, pero si lo he visto con dos L's, pero y ahora esto está escrito con una. There are some verbs in which you can find this, ¿ok? Both are correct. Eh, what else? Me enrollo, pero para que cojáis vocabulario, ¿eh? Podría deciros, eh, number one, essential, number two, useful, number three, outward, pero creo que eso no sirve de nada. Eh, the outcome of... All this is that travelers are recommended to check out. To check out is uh, dejar el hotel, dejar el aeropuerto, ¿vale? This is, this is something that we say. This is something we say in, in Spanish. We, we say, voy a hacer el check-in, ¿ok? Mm, the latest luggage restrictions before setting out. To set out is a uh, phrasal verb. To set out, ¿qué significa? Eh, partir, en el sentido de salir de viaje. ¿Vale? To set out for the airport 
es decir, to go to the airport. ¿Vale? Es lo mismo. Ok, set out, salir de viaje. Good. What's more? What's more es un linker, es un discourse marker que eh, va a salir, bueno, este, este sale muchísimo en los exámenes, ¿vale? Eh, típico, que pongan what's y aquí un gap en este ejercicio. En este. Ponen what's y el gap. El hueco. Ok, what's more y lo que es más. Before. Como before es una proposición, veis, luego pone el ing. Before investing. Invest means invertir. To invest in or into is the collocation. Invertir en. Before investing, esto ya del coronavirus. Before investing... In a trolley bag, bear in mind, ten en cuenta, bear in mind, esto es ten en cuenta, entonces, yo puedo utilizar bear in mind en todo, ¿vale? Puedo decir, chicos, guys, bear in mind that I have given to you some vocabulary that you should study, for example, or bear in mind that you have to go to the supermarket tomorrow because we have no fruit left. This is an example, okay? Bear in mind, in this case, ten en cuenta, that you are likely to be negotiating. Uh, I need something. Surface is a noun, so I need the adjective in the negative form. Very good. Uneven, desnivelado, desigual. Very good. Uneven surface. As well as the smooth Flooring, smooth es liso, bueno, smooth means lots of things. For example, smooth criminal, this is one of Michael Jackson's songs, smooth criminal. A smooth criminal means uh, ladrón de guante blanco, so imagine. A smooth liso, a smooth person, for example, is a person who talks too much. Uh, and that's it. As well as the flooring is like floor of airport lunches. Lunch is una sala. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm mixing. He, he dicho is una sala. Bueno, pues. Es que ya no sé ni si estoy hablando en inglés o en español. So, of airport lunches. This is sala de espera, sala. And that larger wheels, larger is más largas, ¿no? No, large es grande. Es otro false friend. Large es grande, no largo. Large is the same as big. So, bear in mind, guys, that larger wheels are better able to absorb bumps than their smaller. And I need the noun. This is a little bit difficult. I, I use this word. I use this word. And this word means homologo and it's counterpart. Counterpart. Counterpart is un homologo. Eh, ¿Qué es homologo equ equivalente? No? Let me see if it is here. Let's do. ¿Cómo puedo buscar una palabra aquí? Oh. Let me see. ¿Funcionará esto if I say that? Counterpart. I think this word is in, in here. Un momento, voy a comprobar que esto va bien poniendo una... Vale, sí. Counterpart. Counter... Counter argument. Contra argumento. Counter... Vale, it doesn't matter. I know where it is. It's in another list. So counter means contra también, ¿vale? Counterpart, homólogo. ¿Vale? ¿Y qué es? A ver, uh, better able. 
Vale, I'm going to read the last paragraph. What's more, before investing in a trolley bag, bear in mind that you are likely to be negotiated and even surface, as well as the smooth flooring of airport lunches, and that larger wheels are better able to absorb bumps than their smaller counterparts. Dice que las ruedas grandes eh, pueden absorber bumps. A ver, a Absorb es absorber y bump es bulto o es eh, golpe. Pero absorb también es amortiguar, ¿vale? Entonces que las eh, ruedas grandes pueden eh, jope, no me sale, amortiguar mejor los golpes, ¿vale? Entonces nos quedamos con que absorb es absorber. And also, it is different, totally different meaning, amortiguar, okay? And bump is bulto, okay? And another completely different meaning is golpe, okay? So they are totally different. ¿Qué sus homólogas? Que son pequeñas, okay? This is difficult to translate, but... Today uh, we have seen lots of vocabulary. I hope you you remember this vocabulary because it is going to be useful. So when you go to the airport and and you want to ask for a place, you should use this word, guys. Lunch. This word, lunch. Lunch es sala en un aeropuerto, por ejemplo. Entonces, si quiero decir la sala de salida de vuelo, digo departure, lunch, ok, or arriving, or arrivals, arrivals, lunch, ok, ok, so this is the place, eh, the place, for meaning sala, Sala en inglés se dice de muchas formas, por ejemplo, en un hospital sería word, en un aeropuerto decimos lunch, ok. Departure learn, lunch, arrivals lunch, or the lunch for smokers, bueno, eso ya no existe, well, I don't know. Ok, guys, so, I hope you, you have this. You have um, get at least some vocabulary, ¿vale? Que os quedéis con el vocabulario, que da igual que, se, que pongáis la A o la B o la C. Si esto da igual, si esto luego cuando habléis vais a hablar bien. Ok, don't worry about being grammatically correct always. Ok, you should build on your vocabulary and this is it. Do you have questions? ¿Tenéis preguntas? No. Uh, guys, what do you want for the following day? I had thought about a reading. A reading telling you vocabulary and so on, pero a lo mejor os estoy machacando a vocabulario. Si os estoy machacando, también me lo podéis decir. Because maybe it's too much. ¿Cómo se está pareciendo el vocabulario? Perfect for Javier, for Javier, and I suppose it is perfect. Okay. So it would be a text about butterflies, the mariposas. It is very rich in vocabulary, in vocabulary that uh, I, don't, I don't think you know, because it is difficult. Difficult vocabulary from, well, that's it. Okay, guys, so I hope to see you on Wednesday. And don't worry about this vocabulary. Lo, mi consejo es, apuntad el vocabulario y cuando os aburráis, pues lo, lo veis. Si no podéis ahora, no pasa nada, porque apuntando el vocabulario, si queréis, en verano lo leéis, en tres años lo leéis. Siempre apuntad las cosas. Ok, this is my piece of advice. Ok, guys, so see you next eh, Wednesday with a reading and maybe something else. Eh, José and Esperanza and are, are writing. Ok, bye, guys. See you. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.